All right, today I will talk about tires. So I went back to uh, Mega Yule to get my tires replaced. And uh, new tires, they usually have about nine millimeter tread. And uh, we measure now that they're down to four millimeters. And uh, I've used them for one season, which is, uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, I drive so so much every year, about 100,000 per year. So I estimated that those tires have done uh, about 40, 50,000 kilometers. So it's not too bad. I, mean, I can still use them for a bit. You know, I actually used those tires, those old tires when I took my trip to uh, uh, Boden back again recently. That, that, that was lots of snow and ice also over the road there. And uh, that was okay, but I feel like they are starting to wear down a little bit and I, I uh, most of the time on dry tarmac or wet tarmac or whatever, uh, they are great, but um, it lost some of that edge that it had in the beginning, especially when I'm driving on deep snow or maybe if, if it's really wet. So yeah, that's why I decided to replace them. And not only that, but um, the new tires, they have 255 in the front. Whereas the old one had 275 in the front. So now I have a staggered option. Staggered uh, just like in, um, in summer tires. And uh, slightly narrower front tire should be better for consumption. And also for grip in, in wet uh, road or even maybe in snow. So we'll see. Yeah, that's also one the other reason why I want to replace them a little bit early now. Um, and also, and I should tell you my experience with uh, these tires so far. So you see here, here are the old tires. And uh, you see that uh, the, the rear tire is actually not that bad. I mean, it, it seems to be more or less uh, evenly worn down. So, of course, uh, Tesla, they have known to have like, um, to have some wear and tear in the inside of the tire, but I use low suspension permanently because I have rattling from a front drive unit when I accelerate hard. And you see here that it's not too bad. It, okay, we have a little bit in the inside, but um, not not too bad, really. So, um, would I recommend driving with um, low suspension permanently? Mm, uh, I'm not going to give you any recommendation. I'm just I'm showing you here that uh, when I did it, it's not that bad. So then it's up to you to decide. Because I also heard from Tesla that uh, they don't recommend you using it because it will eat uh, more of the inside of the tire. It will change the camber value. But for me... I don't want to listen to that rattling all the time, so I, I use low. And also, when you have it in low, the, you and I feel like the ride is uh, slightly better because I, if I have a normal, it's a little bit boat. But with low, it gets slightly closer to the feel and drive of an S. Of course, not as good, but yeah, you get my point. Um, and also, you know, I should tell you about um, yeah my experience with the tires. That uh, how good were they? Well, you know, I used to be a hardcore uh, studded tires fanboy. With my Millennium Falcon, the Model S rear wheel drive I had before, I had a Nook and Hakapulita uh, 7 on them, studded tires. And then when they worn out, I uh, went for the Hakka 8, studded tires still. And uh, what I noticed is that uh, towards the end, of, well, actually, I wouldn't call it the end of the lifetime, but maybe already around half of the lifetime of the studded tires, they lost the, the, the grip they had. Okay, you, I started losing uh, studs, you know, uh, maybe because of hard acceleration, maybe because of high speed. Uh, that, that's the problem with studded tires is that it's not recommended to drive too fast. I heard this directly from Nuken. I, I contacted Nuken before. So they, they say that, you know, if you want your studs to last the longest, you shouldn't drive faster than 90 kilometers per hour. So that's usually what I did. Uh, yeah, but then of course, if you drive at 140, 130, then you have higher temperature uh, on the, the tires and you wear down the studs more. And also, it's not bad. It's not good for the environment because you you also wear down the road more. But uh, that's a different uh, story. Yeah. Uh, so so what I realized is that uh, those studless. I mean, I'm sorry. Those studded tires. They uh, they have the the perf like they have the best performance than when they're branch banking new. And of course, people who test tires, they test brand new tires. And then, you know, the Nokia studded tires, they get the best score. But my experience is different because when I tested um, uh, the studless Nereus tires, I was so impressed how good the grip was in snow. 
right? When I did those uh, those deep snow tests in the beginning, I'll, I believe that I had the best tires, which was the Nokian uh, studded tires. And then I got those cheap uh, Chinese tires, which turned out to perform all, equally as good as the Nokian, those more expensive premium tires. That was a whole different story. And all the studless tires are better than studded tires on snow, on dry tarmac, on wet tarmac. It's better with noise. It's better for the environment because you have less wear and tear on the road. So to me, it's a win-win to use studless tires. So I'm now totally convinced that I will use studless tires for now. So of course, studded tires is the best if you drive a lot on ice, if you have... Um, uh, like frozen ice and stuff, but for most other uh, situations, then the studded tires will beat them. Yeah. Um, so, and why did I choose uh, Nokia? Uh, why, why did I choose Nereus and not go for Nokia or whatever? Well, I'm so happy with the Nereus tires because I measure that they are very quiet, and they are much cheaper than those expensive uh, premium tires, and they have the same performance as the other one. I haven't crashed yet, and I drive like I've uh, stolen a car. Yeah, and um, uh, but one thing I will figure out maybe later is that um, before I used 275 in the front, but now with the new set, it comes in the 255, which is the same staggered option that you get in the summer tires. So uh, those wider front tires, most likely they cause higher consumption in the on the old set. So hopefully I get better results because when I measured Nereus versus uh, Nokian and Michelin and all those other, I have a test earlier. Uh, Nereus unfortunately had more uh, higher consumption, but I I live with that because I like that quietness and also that I don't have to spend a fortune on tires and that they still perform the same as the other one. Yeah. So um, we'll see. Uh, maybe I'll make a follow-up video, but uh, I think that will be it about the tires so far. So yeah, so far so good. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, thank you for watching and talk to you later.